Hi, I'm Nazra Roslan and I'm 22 years old. Hello everyone, my name is Hima Malini. Hi, I'm Xiao Hui Min, I'm 26 this year. After my A-levels, I was looking for different universities to enrol in and I, I was browsing through and I found MDIS because they've offered a couple of degrees from different universities, overseas universities, and I, I found one from Oklahoma City University where they actually offered um, me media mass communication which I was interested in. Uh, I'm actually an entrepreneur. I run a TV production company. We provide content for Media Corp's uh, Vasantham channel, the Indian channel. I was here at MDIS to have an interview with uh, Dr. Dave Andrin of MDIS. And he asked me, he asked me if I have a degree with, in mass comm. And I said, no, I don't. And he said, why not have a degree in mass comm since you're in the media line? So he kind of uh, planted the seed of doing a degree in mass comm for me. I graduated from Nian Poly. Uh, film sound and video diploma and then I went I started working after that I wasn't planning on taking a degree course yet so I started working I was working for about three years then I decided to you know further my studies by you know taking a degree yeah so I decided to choose MDIS for the Bachelor of Arts degree course my life in MDIS was an interesting one um, I mean aside from like studies and all those the theory part of it, there was a practical part of it, which I joined um, MDIS Media Club for it. Um, at first I was a bit scared because like, I don't have like the skills, like editing skills, filming skills or whatsoever. Um, but then when you start learning those skills in the Media Club itself, it kind of relevant and, and you can relate it back to whatever you're studying in theory in your courses actually. Studying in MDIS was a very enriching uh, experience. I'm not saying it because I'm in front of the cameras, but the truth is that it's very skills-based. Uh, anywhere else, if you'd go, it'd be very theory, theoretical, and hands-on, you have very little of it. But in um, this program, we had a lot of hands-on practices and we actually wrote for radio, we wrote for TV. Um, we, it, there was theory. They taught you how to do the research and the basics. There were, it was there, but there was a lot of hands-on. I think one thing very different between MDIS and my previous schools were that um, every five or ten steps, ten steps that you take, you actually see a quote or a word of uh, some words of wisdom. I think that's very interesting. Like no other schools I've been to have this uh, inspiring quotes every five to ten steps that a student takes. And I think yeah, that's that's very vastly different from my previous schools. Um, my secret to success would definitely be one is to never give up. You will encounter obstacles in your life. Um, that is a fact. And the idea is that you have to keep going no matter what. Secret to success. Wow, I wish I knew. <laughs> uh, secret to success. I think uh, basically it's about having the desire and the passion and going all out to get it. Uh, uh, I've actually worked for a couple of years before I decided to take up this degree course. So. I think my um, past experience in work and as well as my studies that I've previously done have uh, helped to strengthen my determination to succeed. I think throughout my whole journey in MDIS, there's tons of people that you know you have to be thankful for and I am thankful for. Firstly, I mean my parents of course, who have worked hard to, kind of, to put me into this school to make sure that I get the best education. Um, also, I'm thankful for my friends who have been there for day one. You know who you are. Of course, the lecturers and professors who have taught me, who answers endless questions that I have during lesson, who gave me life advice. I want to take this moment to uh, say thank you to a few people. Um, my family for supporting me, my husband and my three kids. And of course, uh, Dr. Dave Indren for actually mooting this idea and saying, you know, you have to do it. And of course, uh, Professor Harmon, uh, Professor Carly Harmon, I'm sure everybody knows her. She's always teaching and lecturing with a smile on her face, but she commands respect. I would like to thank my professors and my classmates. My professors have been very uh, helpful to us and guiding us all the way. 
And my classmates, we are always helping each other, like um, updating any last minute information and things like that. And also, I'd like to thank my parents for making it possible for me to study here. And my siblings, especially my sister, she has helped me a lot, helping me proofread my essays and things like that. I really appreciate that.